All right. So with the uh, small gear in place on the front axle, uh, we've gone ahead and put this pin in here. And again, being very careful with the teeth on the gear, we'll be uh, we'll push that pin all the way through uh, until it's flush on both sides. And then we can just go ahead and take that tape off there, and we're ready to put. Uh, small bearings in place. So the 5 by 11 by 4 millimeter bearings are going to go uh, right up against the gear on one side and they're going to go uh, just a little bit away from the gear on the other side. So it's important that the 5 by 11 by 4 millimeter bearing uh, that goes on the opposite side, that is the tooth side of the gear, it's important that that be very snug on the shaft. What that's going to do is, is maintain the gear mesh. It's going to keep the gears from, from colliding into each other and having that gear mesh become too tight. So we can see on this particular shaft, uh, that's relatively loose. Um, some of the shafts, they may be tight, may require sending to get it to the point that we want. On this particular shaft, it's a little loose, so I'm actually going to go ahead and build that shaft up with just a, a touch of this uh, super glue again, and I'm just going to go ahead and sort of wipe that in here around the area that that, that, that bearing is going to go. And I'm, I'm going to let that dry. I'm not going to glue the bearing to it, but I'm going to let it dry so that I'm going to end up with a very, very snug fit on that. So I'll let that dry for a bit. All right, so we've got the uh, uh, drive shaft there. Uh, I'm sorry, we have the axle uh, built up with a little bit of the CA. Uh, we're going ahead and put the other 5x11 bearing in the uh, half of the gearbox. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I press that in real good and snug so it's, it's all the way seated in there. Uh, and we'll put these together now. The two halves of the gearbox are going to capture those bearings and hold our entire drive mechanism in place. So now we have a, a very smooth running prop shaft and axle. Okay, so the uh, gear case comes with uh, three screws and three uh, nylon locking nuts. Uh, we're going to use two of these screws. Uh, the third one is actually going to be replaced by another piece of hardware that holds the frame onto it. So we're going to start with the small uh, screw. Uh, there's two long ones and a short one. I'm going to insert that through the very end uh, lug, if you will, on this uh, gear case. There's a round countersunk hole and a hex countersunk hole. So what we'll do is we'll take the nut and put that into the hex countersunk hole. I'll hold that in there and put the, uh, the screw in the, uh, in the round count okay, countersunk so hole. So I've got the uh, nut in one side of the gearbox and I've got the uh, hex screw in the other side. Uh, that's a hex head screw. And I'm going to need a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench to go ahead and tighten this down. So we're just going to go ahead and tighten this down on here to secure the two halves of the gearbox until that feels pretty good and snug. And that feels good. Now, uh, this part is uh, really simple but critical. We have to make sure that we know which is the top of the gearbox. And to do that, we're going to turn the prop shaft clockwise when viewed from behind. We're going to make sure that the axle turns in such a way to pull the cart along forward. Uh, so I'm turning clockwise on the prop shaft, viewed from behind, and this has to turn to uh, turn the wheels forward. So that tells me that this is the top of my gearbox. Given that, I'm going to put the long screw in the top hole. The bottom hole for now is going to uh, remain unused. And I've got the screw in the other. And again, I'll go ahead and tighten that down with my 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench until that's nice and snug. All right, so that's uh, looking pretty good, nice and snug fit on the gearbox. Uh, still turns nice and smoothly. I think we're in good shape. Okay, now we're going to put the wheels on the cart. We're using a couple of these 3-inch GWS uh, ultralight wheels. 
these are available from aeromicro.com again or Tower Hobbies. Um, the GWS wheels, the hubs are probably a little bit too small to go on our 5mm axle. So we're going to make a step down and the step down is going to be uh, a 4mm mil, four uh, carbon tube. Um, and I'm just going to cut two inches, um, a couple of two inch chunks off of that. And those are going to slide inside the five millimeter axle and fit in the wheels. So I'll go ahead and use the Dremel tool again to uh, cut these down. So we've got our two uh, adapters. Just going to go ahead and put a very, very slight taper on the ends of these so they'll slide easily into the axle and into the wheels. got a couple of two inch uh, wheel adapters. I've already drilled the hubs out on the wheel to uh, 530 seconds. That's going to put a, uh, it's going to give us a real, real nice snug fit on the four millimeter uh, adapters. So I'll go ahead and put the adapter uh, on the wheel right now. Fit that all the way in there so it goes through till it's flush. And it's real nice and snug. Uh, and that's just going to slide right into the uh, go right into the five millimeter axle there, and we'll do the same with the other one, and that's going to go right in to the other side. Uh, so now to hold that in place, again we're going to use some of our uh, super glue, the CA. Uh, that'll go right on the carbon axle. that on down in there. And the uh, super glue I'm using here is actually a foam safe CA. It's called Zap-O foam safe CA, which is not going to harm the, the plastic, the wheels and such. Um, it, on this particular part that's relatively important. So we're just going to go ahead and let those set up. Um, and we've got the, uh, the wheels on our cart. Now I'm going to make the bearing block that uh, supports the prop shaft at the aft end of the frame. So I'm using a piece of this high density polyethylene or HDPE. It's a uh, half inch thick uh, chunk of plastic. I'm going to cut a uh, one inch, uh, I'm sorry, one inch by one and a half inch uh, piece out of that that's going to be the bearing block. Uh, then one half inch below the top of that, I'm going to cut a uh, 7 16 hole, which is going to accommodate the bearing that supports the shaft. And in the bottom of that, I'm going to drill a 3 8 inch hole right up through the middle, and that'll sit on top of the back of the frame.